Hello friends, today I'm talking about my new song, Back in the Bow. That's favorable for the uninitiated. So this song is a celebration of my hometown, and I imagine it's the track you're listening to as you're driving into Faribault. One of my friend's dads had a story where he was a college kid, and whenever him and his friends would drive back to town, they would always play The Boys Are Back in Town. So I want this song to be a similar anthem, but for Faribault. So this song is a celebration of the community, and one of the reasons I wanted to do that is because a lot of people that live here talk a lot of trash about the town. Just a lot of negative stuff I've seen on Facebook over the years. And I understand this is a minority of people that live there, but I still wanted to combat the negativity. So I love Faribault, and this is my hype rap for the Faribault community. Let's look at the project file. Alright, here we are. Starting off with a melody loop, this was from Cymatics. Then I just added some drums and an 808 over that. And that's the bulk of the track. I have some other pads and things going on during the choruses. Just other things to fill it out. Alright, so here's what we got going on for vocals. I'm going to solo these. Back in the bow, you already know. Till the world spin and the falcon soar. Going downtown, messing around. People I know are in every store. For most of this song, I just have two tracks going, and during the chorus, I have four tracks. And then I add more tracks for each additional chorus, so here I have a couple more tracks added on. And then the final chorus, I have all those vocal tracks, plus my feature doing a couple ad-libs. Then for verse 3, I got my buddy John Paul jumping in, and he's been with me on many tracks at this point. Lakes and rivers from Faribault, my spring of youth spit crazy flow, these city streets and county roads I've frequented since I don't know. And John Paul also grew up in Faribault, so we've worked together so much, making a song about Faribault, I knew I wanted him to be on the track. Once again, we met in my parents' basement, recorded some vocals, and he did a great job, as always. Yeah, so that's the track. So I dropped the song, I did all my usual promotion stuff, and I did something I don't normally do. I shared it to the Concerned Citizens of Faribault Facebook page. And I was actually pretty nervous to share it on there, just because I've had a lot of comments about my rap in a negative way, just in general. And like I mentioned, a lot of people bash the town, so I thought, me rapping about how great the town is, I'm definitely going to get some kind of backlash. And I could not have been more pleasantly surprised. I just got a ton of likes and comments, a lot of people sharing it, lots of kind of words. I even had a few of the businesses I shouted out share it, which was really cool. In addition to the song, we also made a music video. Me and John Paul went out in the middle of July, it was very hot, set on some tilt whirls which are iconic to Faribault if you don't know got in a couple of prime locations people would recognize, and we just filmed ourselves rapping to the song, later to be edited into my second music video. And similar to the song, I was really pleasantly surprised on the reaction, just a lot of kind words, a lot of people gassing us up. As an artist, you don't always get that, a lot of times you're sharing stuff out into the void. So when you do get a reaction, it's so nice, it's very validating, and I'm just very grateful for how people took the song. So while editing the video, I had a clip of a woman in the background, and I wasn't sure if I should keep that in or if I should take that out. I definitely didn't want some random person feeling included in the video if they didn't want to be included in it. I ultimately made the decision to keep it, and I ended up getting an email from that woman thanking me that she's in the video and saying that she likes my music. She's checking it out and she's sharing it with other people, so that's just amazing. I definitely did not expect anything like that to happen. That just made my day when I heard about that. Just got a lot of love from the town. I was in the Faribault Daily News. They did an article on me. So currently the song has over a thousand streams on Spotify. And if you're an artist, you realize what a significant milestone that is. If you have under a thousand streams on Spotify, the amount of streams isn't even tracked. So once you're over a thousand, people can see the exact number. And the music video is almost at 3,000 views, which is just crazy. It was really cool to make something for my hometown and have people in the town respond to it in a way that's more positive than I ever imagined. I definitely expected people to like it, but I didn't think that many people would like it, especially all these people that are maybe not your classic hip-hop fan. Just people that live in the town appreciate what I did and like the music. So I feel incredibly grateful for all of that. So I'm just going to end this video by announcing that I am releasing a full-length rap album as Late Night Luke. I've released several singles from it this year, but I have four unreleased tracks, and I'm just really excited to drop it, probably coming sometime next year. So more info on that coming soon, probably dropping in January or February. I want to have a release show, and I'm currently trying to figure out how to rap live. I've only rapped in the studio, so it's a bit of a learning process for me. Thank you so much for making it to the end. Thank you to Faribault for all the love, and I will see you next time. Peace.